I'm audio recording. Huh? I'm audio recording. So, same here. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? Not bad. Just need to see your IDs real quick. Uh, I don't have any ID on me whatsoever. Okay. Name, state of birth. Okay, that's fine. Ready? Yep. James. I'm oh, sorry, last middle name again. Correct, so that's Correct. I need a birthday. August 21st, okay. 1992. Okay. And your name? Uh, Jennifer. Spell the Jennifer real quick. Uh, K-E-N-N-I-F-E-R. And your middle? Yep. And then it's, um, <laughs> One more time, just the... Yep. Okay. <laughs> what did I tell them for you? Uh, 916.92. Typically, even though it's open carry law, you are to carry a photo ID on you, so you can verify you are the person in your age, so you can be open carry. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I have a computer system where I can actually see your face. I'll verify it. You've got to have a photo ID. Sense man. Uh, yeah, I have the law. Could you could you cite could you cite what what part of the code it says that? That's my job. That's yours to look at. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. You do we'll, that. We'll just Google this right now. Because um, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I'm I pretty sure that's just that. that's just for his benefit, so that uh, he can always know. But um, I mean, I know it doesn't say anything about that in, uh, oh, whatever the section is. Yeah, I have it printed off in my car of the, uh, the penal code regarding where you can and cannot carry weapons. Um, uh, it doesn't say anything about that as far as concealed carry, except for, uh, you gotta... See, right there, no license or ID is required to open, openly carry a firearm. Okay, where, where, where is that? Can you, can you show me that? What, 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 what is that from? What, what is that? I mean, is that just some random website or is that Michigan Penal Code? Said something about Section 23. Well, Section 234D. No, but um, he can only ask for picture ID if he has reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime. And openly carrying a firearm does not constitute reasonable or articulable yeah, suspicion of committing crime. So, um, so I'll have to I have to challenge him on that. But I'm pretty sure that um, pretty sure there's nothing he can do. Yeah, but um, you know, he told me that he was audio recording as well. Well, he doesn't. You know, the cops are royalty, so they don't have to tell us if they're audio recording. But we have to tell them the wiretapping laws. When do they have? Have they always had the system where our pictures are? Um... <laughs> they've been they've been taking every child's blood at birth for 50 years. I'm going to laugh if he gets back and says, Oh, yeah, we got you in here. Uh, aggravated assault. You know, uh, you're a felon. Can't have that. Uh, excuse me? You sure you have the, the, you sure you have the correct guy? But kind of disappointed. He didn't even flash the lights and make a big deal out of it. It's almost like he's just parked here. He doesn't want to draw attention. We have guns on him. Anything yet? Not from, um, um, I 
government website. They have one on Michigan.gov, I would assume, right? Yeah. Well, you like how I say since since when is since when do you have to have an ID in each? It relates to both. Well, okay. You can tell me that's the law all you want, but it doesn't mean it's no, true. No, but yeah, exactly. And, and you know that um, the courts have ruled that police officers are allowed to lie to you to you know get you to admit to something, you know, or to uh, trick you into something. It's so yeah, you can't believe a word a cop says. Let's see here. And uh, and frankly, he didn't even have enough enough weight to uh, to ask me for my name, date of birth. Because again, you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion. I've committed a crime under DeBerry v. U.S. Um, merely carrying a firearm does not constitute reasonable articulable suspicion. So. Unless Oxford has some... That's possible, but I've checked that in the past and I didn't see anything. Did you Google like uh, open carry Michigan photo ID? Yeah, and that's the, like at the same thing where you're not required to have an ID. What would that be under safety and security? We want law. Yeah. The laws. Safety and security is just going to give you, you know, state police. But. But it's okay. I'm sure that uh, he understands that this is going to end up on YouTube, <laughs> and he's going to get to hear all this, <laughs> and that's fine. But um, see, if I look at blogs and nothing like these are just well, see, websites. let me put it to you this way. Um, when I was stopped, when I was stopped by the cop in uh, Auburn Hills. Um, he asked me for ID. I said that I had it on me, but that I was not going to consent to giving it to him. And he said that that was fine. He didn't. He didn't ask any further, and that's because he can't. The um, this guy, you know, I, I mean, either there's a there's an Oxford ordinance. I wonder about that. You know, I've. I've checked I've though. Looked over it. I've looked over it to the best of my ability. You know, you can't, you can barely find the ordinances that's buried on the website. But you know, um, I never saw anything. But of course, ignorance of the law is no defense. So. Here's your ticket. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think so. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, Oxford? Uh, no. no, we don't. Okay. You guys are fine. You know you guys are going to call your... Uh, you know, attention to get, get to you for open, for the open carry law, even though it's legal. Okay? Yep. All right. Where so were that? You're next to a theater and all that stuff. You're going to get yeah. on. Any people that may assume that you're doing something wrong, the person might even say, hey, that person actually pointed a gun at me. Yes. The second that person does that, you're jeopardizing everything that you're trying to, to protect. I understand that. And, right. and these are things that I have considered. Okay. But, um. This is the future that typically you have to have your physical ID so I can say, yeah, you are James thing, you here's your face. No, well, go. actually, you know, uh, we were actually trying to double check that, and the law says that you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion. Actually, that's a you know Supreme Court ruling. You have to have reasonable articulable right. suspicion, 
And DeBerry v. U.S. says that carrying a firearm does not constitute reasonable articulable suspicion. Yeah, well, so, yeah, so when the phone call comes in, the suspicion is that they're carrying or, or, or pointing in a certain direction, that's reasonable suspicion for me. And you know what? In a good pay, in a good pay back, I'm an officer. I can exercise any right on a good pay back. I suppose that makes sense. So, so we both know our law. Yes, we do. Uh, we generally should try. Kind of guns, I'm curious. No. Um, we have on the right here. It's a Chinese Mac 90 AK variants, and the other one's a Ruger 1022, just a <laughs> fancy stock. How much they cost? Uh, 450 for this, and about 250 for that. Okay. Uh, can I take a look? Please do. They're both unloaded. They're both unloaded. They're both unloaded. But do check for yourself. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. I always do. Thank you. All right. Um, so I'm gonna call back. They say anything stupid. Put yourself in a situation. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, have a good night. You too. Thank you. I suppose you got that. That's Morocco. That's um, personnel number 64. It's an ambulance, so we're gonna sit here. Depending on the set of leaves. Make sure.